Merthyr Tydfil, the heart of the Welsh Valleys. And this is the General Dynamics factory where all six variants of Ajax are built. And I've been given really very special permission to come onto the factory floor to see the vehicles being put together. There's a lot of advanced technology beneath the skin of each Ajax variant, and of course we don't want to give away any secrets, so we can only show you certain parts of the factory and indeed the build process. 589 vehicles will be built here for the British Army. Jonathan Richards is head of production. At any one time when we're at full rate production, there'll be circa 50 vehicles on the shop floor that are either in production or in test itself. And what is something of a first for this industry, the end user, the army, are here right through the process. We have army personnel on site permanently um, and indeed they work collaboratively with the GD team to get the best result on the, on the JAG joint acceptance group testing. Which means each Ajax, Ares, Argus, Athena, Atlas or Apollo leaves the site with both builder and user approval, speeding everything up, which helps everybody. Also more efficient is the build process itself. It's a production line system, just like with cars. Rather than building each vehicle from scratch in its own bay, which is time consuming, but had been the norm in sections of defence manufacturing. Let's look in more detail at one part of Ajax being built. We're working in the sub-assembly at the present and we're building final drive sprockets for the Athena. There's a set amount of bolts in each drive wheel, um, 40 in each wheel, so 80 in total. And we place the drive sprocket onto the, onto the wheel, tighten them, and then you need to tighten them specifically to a high torque. Which in this case is 500 newton metres, using a special gun. Each bolt will be marked. That's essential to identify any coming loose on the vehicle. It's, it's a visual indicator. Many of those building Ajax are themselves military veterans and know the importance of what they're doing. Darren, your ex-military are now working right at the heart of this programme. How proud do you feel about being part of this? Extremely proud, yeah. It's uh, very rewarding. I know where the end user, uh, the way it's going to be used, how it's going to be used and the environments that it's going to be used in. So I appreciate, I appreciate the uh, quality of the builds that we're, we're producing and knowing that we're going to be saving lives uh, with this vehicle. Head over heels higher than any of the uh, current vehicles that are out there. Yeah, it's brilliant. I've been genuinely impressed by the level of detail that goes into every single element of the build here. And I've chosen something to illustrate that that's really quite mundane, I suppose. A vending machine full of glue. Why? Well, two reasons. Firstly, you're building your component, you need a certain sort of glue. You come here and you can have 620, 241, 246, 638. There are loads of different sorts of glues. Each has a specific job. But why have it in a machine where you swipe your card to get it? Well, that way they can track when it's in or out of date and thus ensure that nothing out of date makes it onto the factory floor. The General Dynamics factory lies in an area that's seen boom times and bust, industry coming and going and it's provided valuable opportunities for employment. I've been here now 12 weeks. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, it's challenging, but worthy, worthwhile. What would your message be to British soldiers who are using this vehicle, and how proud are you of, of what you're doing here? Obviously, I've seen the in-depth making of the vehicle, and um, I've seen how stringent they are with, with the plans of making them. Quite impressive actually down at the nitty gritty boring stuff that I enjoy. I, I reckon they can put their confidence in it. Ajax will be at the forefront of the Army's capabilities for decades to come. The people at the sharp end of building that capability know full well their hard work now will pay dividends for future generations of soldiers. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Merthyr Tidville.